Hello, my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very special guest with me. Hey, this is my wife. Yes. <laughs> Should I introduce who I am? Yes. Hello. I'm too tall for this. Hi, I'm ooh, and too white for this. I tried to be back Hello. in here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mary. If you have been following Diana for a while, then you know who I am. I'm Diana's very best number one friend. If you think that you hold that title, you do not. I have it. Uh, <laughs> and today we're baking. Okay. We're going to be baking. We are attempting to bake vegan strawberry shortcake and vegan apple pie. That is the game plan. Yes. And I asked you guys on my last video in the pinned comment if you guys would like a baking video and I could do a Q&A over it. And all of you guys said that you would love it. So I asked you guys on my Instagram. I got a bunch of questions. She's going to ask them. I haven't read them at all yet. So she's going to pick them, which means I can't run away from questions that I don't want to answer. If you guys enjoy it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. But if you absolutely hate it, then of course you can give it a thumbs down. That's okay too. <laughs> and of course, subscribe for more content for your certified damsel in distress. Okay, let's do it. Let's start. We're gonna preheat the oven. All right. So 350. My two cups of milk with vinegar or lemon juice and set aside to sour. Should I have mixing bowls? You don't have any mixing no. bowls? <laughs> Diana! Do I have this one? That works. I already know which question to do first. And it's just a dumb question. Like, now it looks dark. Because you were in the frame. I, I, your camera doesn't like white people. <laughs> Dang, you are short. Someone said that? No, <laughs> I said that. Mm. Somebody asked this. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> That's the first question. That's that really? Yeah. It's kind of sweet. I know. <laughs> I am doing my best. Next question. What's your favorite book of all time and do you have any to suggest? Oh, That's a good question, huh? I haven't read for enjoyment in years. <laughs> the last book I remember reading is All for the Game. It's a book series. How do you keep your teeth so white? I don't People ask that all the time. People are always like, how do you, what do you do? What's your trick? What's Brush two secret? times a day and floss. All right, you heard, you heard it here. You heard it here, folks. But yeah, that's all I do. Floss, brush your teeth for two minutes each Sorry, time. I ran away. Do you have any advice for stress and overthinking? <laughs> if I did, I wouldn't be this way. I wish I did, honey. If anyone finds out, let a girl know. That's the answer. That's my answer. I'm sorry. I'm I'm awful. My coping mechanisms, not good. Are you in a relationship at the moment? Heart. I am not. I am single. AF. And probably always will be. Relatable. <laughs> sorry, but are you half Caucasian? Are you half white? I am not half white. I am full Korean, so, to my knowledge. <laughs> So why, then why is your father white? Because I was adopted. There you go. There you go, folks. Adopted from Seoul, Korea, South Korea, when I was six months old there by two amazing people. Shout out to them. Shouts out. Rest in peace. <laughs> Rest in peace, for real. Do you play an instrument? I do not. None? No. I Never? feel like a bad Asian. Oh my gosh, this is... Excuse me. I feel like a disgraceful Asian daughter because I saw this thing on TikTok where it's like, Asian disgrace, put your finger down challenge. Oh. <laughs> and it was like, do you play piano? And I was like, ah. uh, you're like, uh, no. no. If you could ask for anything or have a perfect life, what would it be? And what would your life look like? If I could ask for anything? Like a perfect life. I li oh God. That's impossible. Right. Because so I feel like whatever I say, I'm going to be like, well, then this would happen. Right. Because if you say, I hope I have no stress. Okay, we watched a movie last night. Oh boy. Called The Platform. Oh boy. And it feels like that because it says that right. the people up high are depressed because right. they have nothing to look forward to. Right. And I feel like the source of my anxiety, oven's preheated. One of the biggest sources of my anxiety is the fact that like, what if I, I'm not able to get into school? What if I don't have enough money for this in the future? Mm -hmm. But it's like if all of that was guaranteed, then you have nothing to work for. Right. There's no such thing as a perfect life. Why did you dye your hair red? For Yona. It's my favorite manga. One of my favorite manga of all time. She's my favorite protagonist. Because she's a strong, independent woman that doesn't need no man. She wants a man, but she doesn't need a man. Literally the leader of a group of five men. She's their leader. I watched that and I read that and I was like, I need to embody her as much as I possibly can. So I dyed my hair red. The majority of my favorite anime characters, I feel like, have red hair. Right. And then once I saw how it looked, I was like, I'm never going back. So going into, so since we're on the topic of anime, another question was, if you could live in one anime world, what would it be and why? Hi, Q. Why? Why? 
<laughs> like, why not? Who wouldn't want to live in oh that Oh my room? god. My bullies? 1000% Haikyuu. First of all, when I think of like all of the anime mm -hmm. that I watch, mm -hmm. stressful. If I lived in that world, Attack on Titan, I would be dead. Died. Dead. I would die. Episode one? No. Don't even. Dead. Let's not even talk about it. Full Metal Alchemist? Stressful. Right. Too much going on. Um, what else do we have? Boku no Hero? <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. Those Very kids have much. trauma. They do. Trauma. Any Traumatized children. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Demon Slayer. No! I don't want to live in that world. <laughs> Are you kidding me? IQ is like a. Chill, awesome. chill world. What's the worst drama that happens in Haikyuu? When they lose. No, but that's really sad too. I know, but no one's dead. <laughs> Daichi. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> what motivated you to start a YouTube channel? And also, like, why did you do it? That's part of, like, that's like two questions in one. There was a one question that had, like, a why did you start it and when? And then this one is what motivated you to do it. Because so I had no friends. That, I'm not kidding, that's it. I was so lonely. I just wanted someone to talk to. I literally never imagined. I, I thought I was going to get five subscribers, which would have been fine with me. Because I had no friends, so five more, I would be like, wow. Okay, what motivated you to, to keep, I guess, continue then. So it start. Because I was making friends. <laughs> there you have it, folks. All your like, when people subscribe to me, they're, you're my friend now. Like, I'm adopting you as my friend. I'm, like, motivated because I'm like, oh my god, I have friends now. There you go. Like people that actually care about me and like the same things I do. So that's why I'm sticking around. Do you hear is that, that heartfelt? That is. Did it tug at your heartstrings? <laughs> it did. So this is gonna trigger Diana. Have you ever seen Naruto? My favorite anime. I've watched some Naruto. She doesn't really like and it. And I think I. I was gonna leave it at that. <laughs> mm. I was offended too. I would be willing to watch it for you though. Um, I'm not. I'm not kidding. If so one, if I put it on right now, you'd be like, okay. Yes. If you wanted to watch it, one thousand percent. Maybe I'll make her watch it. <laughs> would I enjoy myself? Yeah, you would. I mean, yes, because you would be. Oh, you're cute. Could you tell us more about your relationships? Maybe some advice. My relationships were great. My two romantic relationships. We're I talked good. about them in my sending a quiz to all the boys oh, and yeah. girls I've had a crush on before. Mm -hmm. I sent it to both of my exes, who I'm still friends with to this day. Um, I don't talk to them as often. You're cool. They are both good relationships and they both ended because we had to work on ourselves. There you go. And it was never, it was never a bad breakup. No bad blood, no nothing. Well, well I guess what kind of advice you're asking? Advice, advice. Like keeping a relationship? I have no advice because I didn't keep them. Yeah. I guess let's go into eating disorder recovery. There's a bunch of questions about it. Yeah. So, do you still struggle with any eating disorder thoughts or temptations? No. There you go. <laughs> Easy. Just um, no. I feel like people don't understand. It's hard to fathom. Hard to fathom. I think it's hard to fathom because it was hard to fathom for me too when yeah. I was still when I still had an eating disorder. But I literally don't care. And I think if, I, if someone else were to say something like that, when I had, I'd be like, that's impossible. How do you not care? Mm -hmm. But I don't. And I don't even know how I got to this point. I think I was just so tired of it. And it's, I was so tired. And it brought me to the point where I'm just like, I don't care. I'm not gonna live my life like this. There's no way. I was so miserable. And I was like, I already got depression for other things. I don't need food to be a part of that. <laughs> Is that bad advice? Uh, Probably. It's just like, okay, when you get to a point where you're already like, you don't think about food in that way. There's no thought about it. It just is. I think a big thing for her though, if she's not hungry, sometimes she feels guilty about it. Yes, that That's is it. true. Yeah. That is true. If I if I under eat for a day, sometimes I feel guilty. I don't think I would feel guilty though if I didn't have a YouTube channel. I don't want this to come off in the wrong way. But I think when you have an eating disorder, it's always gonna be with you. Yeah. Because there's certain things that you think about no that else. you never would have thought about if you didn't experience an eating disorder in the first place. Right. Which is fine because when you have an eating disorder, you have to acknowledge the fact that it happened. Right. Because if you don't acknowledge it, there's no recovery in it. There you go. But I, I never feel guilty about overeating. Like that's not a concept in my brain anymore, but under eating is still a concept in my brain. Right. I feel guilty. But I I feel like it's more guilty because for people. I would never film a day where I under ate because I wouldn't want to show that to people. Right, but, but it's it does a happen. Normal part of life. I know it's a normal part of life, and it does happen. Especially if I eat a bunch one day, I'm most likely not going to be as hungry the next day. Sometimes I am, but most of the time I'm not, and that's just how your body evens out. What truly helped you when recovering from your eating disorder? My dad. Okay. I don't know. I think when someone in your life is so sick, you don't know how much time 
left you have with someone. Because food, I mean, like, I don't care about it, but it's still, like, I still know that food is, like, celebratory. Yeah. It's culture. culture. It's fun. It's the, it's a way that Brings we interact. Together. Yeah. There's so many times where I remember my dad was, he could tell, like, something was wrong. The face he would make when I would, like, if he wanted to go out to eat, and the face I, he would make when I would say no. Oh. Because I was too scared to do it. And I think I just reached... A breaking point and I think it was because my dad was really sick like he got really really sick and that was probably when the recovery process started because I realized I was like oh my god I'm losing time mm -hmm. losing minutes mm -hmm. and for what right and what's interesting is that me and you went through it kind of at the same time yes we did we together did. so I think maybe that helped too I need three cups of all-purpose unbleached flour how do you deal with bloating in recovery oh my god what did you just do I feel so bad this is why I don't like answering eating disorder questions because my answer to everything is like I just don't care yeah, you just have to deal with because I became so done with everything when like with bloating or not to get TMI while we're baking but like constipation mm -hmm. or is it okay yeah, like how regular how regular am I? <laughs> yeah. I'm good. It used to be so bad when mm -hmm. I had an eating disorder. Mm -hmm. That's why I think it's, I feel like I'm really bad with this advice because I, I just became so tired. I was done. For bloating, mm -hmm. it's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. If you can't get over something as little as bloating, how am I supposed to expect to be able to handle actual weight gain? Bloating is also daily. And I, I remember I watched a video. Oh my God, I wish I knew who it was. It was like, are you actually bloated or are you just full like satiated and I think people get confused like when you have a meal and your stomach extends and they're like I'm so bloated it's like no you just ate food <laughs> I mean, exactly that's all it was but society has made us think that that's weirdly unnatural it's just a normal thing everyone goes through when you commit to recovery you're committing to all of that lots of people want to be your friend y'all don't understand you are my friend please talk to me <laughs> all right your favorite food of all time pasta and elaborate <laughs> Elaborate? Yeah, tell us about the, your favorite pasta. No. <laughs> no? No. Wow, the heart, just no. I just like pasta. Pasta and noodles and rice. Just, just so yummy. Just pure carbs. My favorite thing in the world. I know. Okay, let, what's your workout split and how often do you go and what do you like to do at the, at the gym now? Y'all don't watch all my videos. <laughs> <laughs> I just walk on the treadmill for like 45 minutes to an hour mm. and all I do is watch Haikyuu. <laughs> Me. I do the same thing. I will watch K-pop videos. I will watch some Stray Kids, some BTS, some BTS run. But I just walk on an incline at a speed of like 3 to 3.5, 45 minutes usually. And then I just walk normally. I put the incline back down and I walk normally for like 15 minutes. Sometimes I'll walk for a really long time. And it's just because I'm watching an anime episode and I'll wait till it's over. And then sometimes I will actually do resistance training. I, I do it sometimes. I do it, it varies, man. I do it maybe five times a week or I won't do it at all. <laughs> it just depends how I'm feeling. If something happens where I can't work out in the morning, I won't work out. You're a morning girl. Yeah, I am a morning gal. Oh, that's another thing. People always ask, how do you wake up so early? Oh yeah, that was a question. I truly believe it is just as beneficial to be a morning per a morning person than it is to be a night owl. Definitely. I'm just a morning person, that's all. But that doesn't make me any more productive than someone that gets all their work done at midnight. They're like, how do you do that? I'm you like, don't need to. How do you, how do you wait, stay, stay up, up till 3 a.m.? I think that's impressive. That's like, cool. What is your favorite thing to do if you feel down? I watch IQ. That's my comfort anime. I write. I like writing. Or I just cry, which is Let so it good. It's, it's so good. good. Just play like some sad music and cry. Not every day. No. Mm. <laughs> I feel like crying is so healthy. Like when you're yeah. done crying, you're like, oh, wow. Yeah, it's nice. I was like invigorating. You're like, wow, I can feel things. Yeah. Sometimes I, I think. You forget. I like text you. I'm like, Mary, do you think I'm a sociopath? Yeah. <laughs> I'm making pie crust. Okay. Forever sandwiches or oatmeal? Like forever. Sandwiches or oatmeal? Yeah, until you die. Sandwiches. I, I don't like savory oatmeal. I've had it. I don't mm -hmm. like it. That's true. You know? You're right. You're not wrong. More diversity. Yeah. Yeah. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Final answer. Lucky in it. Okay. Garlic hummus or chocolate pretzels? Oh my god. This person knows you. Oh my god. <laughs> what the f? Ooh. Garlic hummus. Final answer? Yes. Mine's chocolate pretzels. I'm having a breakdown. Have you ever thought about living with roommates or do you like living alone? She's the only person. <laughs> and 
only if she needs to. Yes. <laughs> I think that's a toxic trait of mine, actually. Like, for example, when I go to Amsterdam or Paris with my friends, they always offer, because they know I'm uncomfortable with Airbnbs. I just get really nervous because I'm really paranoid. I'm a super paranoid person. You know that. It's <laughs> unhealthy. It's bad. So they'll even offer to spend more money for me mm -hmm. to, like, go to a hotel. And I'll still say, I need my own room. And that's so toxic, because if I got a room with them, it'd be cheaper for them. I am so toxic. I need my own room. Don't really think I'm a roommate kind of gal, but if you needed it, yeah, 1,000%. No, I know. How do you stop being super, super shy? Me? You're asking me? I'm so shy. You know I'm shy. Yeah, Diana's like... <laughs> But I'm really bad. I wish I was better. Yeah. So I have no advice for you. If anyone has advice, <laughs> me. comment it down below. Would you raise, raise your children vegan if you had kids ever? <clears throat> Try not to spit that out. I'm not having kids. All right, there you go. Like, I'm literally not. And you'll, you'll be like, well, well, if you did, I'm like, no, not even hypothetical children. Like, I don't want kids. I'm not vegan at all. I would raise my kids like they're kids. When you're younger, should I be like, serious? Should I be serious? If I had kids. I would probably raise them vegan, but not like raise. Does that make sense? Like I would cook vegan meals, but, but if, if they, they went to, to school, school, yeah, if they went to school mm -hmm. and got a non-vegan meal, I'm not gonna be like what Matthew, Matthew, you? <laughs> Matthew Mark, Luke, Luke and John. I have white kids. Diana has white kids. Be like Nicklaus, Nicklaus, <laughs> Nicklaus. How could you eat chicken nuggets with your friends? Yeah, like I wouldn't care, especially at a young age, like to restrict. Like that. I know what it's like to have a parent that's very controlling of your food. When we shouldn't. And I think that messed up my relationship a bit. Definitely. The next question is about zodiac sign. What's your least favorite and what's your most favorite? Ooh, fun, <laughs> fun, fun, fun. It's weird. I always end up dating Aries. My closest friend, you, and then my dad, Leo. Leo's. But then my other friends, Pisces, Cancer, Capricorn. Similar to you. Those are my zodiac signs. I'm Taurus. Cancer and Capricorn. I like Leos. I like Aries. Mm -hmm. Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio rising here. I really get along with fire signs, which I don't even know if that's like right for Taurus. I don't know if Tauruses are supposed to get along with fire signs. I think that's very Cancer of you. The Cancer pops out, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> I don't think I have enough friends to pick a least favorite. We have some K-pop questions. Yes! Do you stand any GGs? Girl groups, girl groups. And who are your biases? In my GGs? Yes. <laughs> uh, well, okay, let's do bias groups and ultimate biases first. Okay, my ultimate, was I supposed to do a teaspoon? <laughs> yes. Ultimate bias group is Stray Kids, 1000%. My biases are Hyunjin and Felix in that group. Felix. BTS. Jimin. You know! <laughs> Jimin and Yoongi are my biases in BTS. You like Jungkook? <laughs> he is yummy. Girl groups though, Twice, Blackpink, Red Velvet, Everglow, which one of you guys messaged me and told Aww, me to check out Everglow so and cute. I love them. There's, that's the song I played you oh. and I was like, this makes me feel like a baddie. Oh, it's a good one. It's done, done. Dun, you put that in your, your other video that you just put up. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm not kidding. When I that song comes on, I'm in the shower. Mm -hmm. I am a hooker. Or Itzy, I love Itzy. I just love women. Oh What's gosh. the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? I don't know, being born. <laughs> my my life, my existence is an embarrassment. Let me open it. Strong. <laughs> yeah, but it's hard to open. <laughs> well, this person wants to know how you started liking anime. <laughs> she introduced me to anime. I thought it, it was so lame. You're gonna. I, li I listened it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Diana into anime. Um, I came over for my birthday, and she was like, knew I liked anime, so I was like, I did. She's like, you. do you want to watch anime? And I was like, oh, yes. And um, whenever we talk about it, and I bring up that you did it, you always say sometimes I regret it. <laughs> I do. I created a monster. A monster. What? Hey. I mean, uh, strong words here. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> How many times have you rewatched Haikyuu? Shut up. <laughs> I watch Haikyuu just to feel something. Mm -hmm. Oh, the depression is showing. <laughs> oh, it's so messy. That's so much better. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll just lean so you guys can see me. I'm really not that tall. I have average height, 5'6". Diana is just incredibly I'm short. I'm really short. Um, Five feet, by the way. I don't know if anyone's wondering that. What is your favorite dessert? Favorite dessert? Chocolate chip cookies. What are your thoughts on BTS Dynamite? It's so 
good. <laughs> I don't even listen to it. I like it. It's YouTube. Yeah. Good. I like it. I like BTS. But I don't know anything about I'm it. I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. Dynamite is so good. It's The vibes are immaculate. What is your favorite thing about yourself? Physically? My eyes. Okay. Which I think is a big deal, considering I used to be racist as hell against yes. Koreans. Now we gotta evenly distribute this batter. Can you do it? Soak these spoons so that we can use them later. Go from there. Try to spread it out, because mm -hmm. I added so much oil. It is therapeutic. You did it. I like baking. I say, this is the first thing I've like, ever baked. <laughs> We're gonna put them in the oven now. They smell, they smell so, so good. good. Okay. Oh boy. Oh baby. I'm gonna let them cool for a few minutes and then transfer. Yes. Now we're gonna start making the whipped cream cheese frosting. Oh. <laughs> and then we have to add the coconut cream. Like the whole thing? I don't know. I think we just add, should add it. Tastes good. <laughs> so you have to layer them? I think so. We're kind of doing a little bit of a half and half. I'm just kind of. This looks good. I'm straight up winging it. We ordered food. Yeah, we ordered real food because uh, we've been eating sugar all day. <laughs> just straight sugar. For real. And I feel I'm so tired of it. Me too. I'm, but we still have to eat this. <laughs> Sorry, bleep. What the bleep is this? Once the frosting kind of went downhill, we're the like, only, well, like the only thing I really know how to make is pie. So to be fair, this is our first time. Yeah, making a cake and strawberry shortcake. This is my first time baking. Period. Yeah, that's so, our first one. Yeah. Okay. I think we did pretty good because of that. It's not bad. It's a good attempt. So now it's just us. It's just you and me. How are you doing? I feel like all you guys were asking me how I was doing, which I really appreciate. Thank you. But how are you doing? Let me know because I care about you guys. I feel like some of y'all are cringing right now at me trying to do this. Um, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm cringing at myself. You guys can cancel me for this. It's totally fine. I would not blame you. This frosting, it's supposed to be a lot fluffier than what you guys are seeing. I, I messed it up. I messed it up. My apologies. But I think what matters most is taste. Am I right? Am I right, my guys and gals and non-binary pals? Now I'm gonna put this one on top. How are you gonna cut? How are we gonna cut into this? I'm gonna attempt it. I'm gonna try. The cake is literally perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about the frosting? All the flavors are there. The taste is there. Mm -hmm. The cake it texture. Looks, it looks moist. Mm -hmm. mm. Let me get close to it. <laughs> it looks oh. so bad. Zoom in. But let's zoom in, baby. Oh, really good. Like. Tell me that doesn't look like something you want to eat, okay? That is literally all that matters. The up close and personal. Oof. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Hush. Uh, too much sugar. Too much sugar today. I'm gonna end the video here. Mary's dough for her apple pie is not going as planned either. We are failures. I think this is a great representation of ourselves. All right. Anyway. We have it, folks. That's going to conclude this video. It was quite a fail, but it was fun. I had a lot of fun. Next time we're gonna, we'll try harder. We tried hard, but. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can get a thumbs up. <laughs> I expect a thumbs down. <laughs> so if you get a thumbs down, I 1000% understand. Comment anything else you would like to see on my channel and subscribe for more content by yours truly. And before you go, if you haven't already heard today, you are amazing. Thank you. You are beautiful. Thank you. You are wonderful. Thank you. you are so valid, and I am so happy that you are alive. I, love, you. You. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Yes.